Good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike. Good morning, Duke. Daily events worldwide, and we're on July 28th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And yes, we have some pretty large earthquakes to talk about here. 6.4 Indonesia, and also 6.0 in Indonesia. Active volcanoes in this area as well. So the 6.0 that occurred earlier today, about six hours ago, that was at a very deep depth, sorry. But yeah, it was a very deep earthquake. And most times when there's a large deep earthquake, it's followed by a larger shallow earthquake. So here we're looking at Lilong Ken, Indonesia, seven kilometer depth. Before that, magnitude 6.0, 578 kilometer depth. Wow, that is a very deep earthquake. Haven't had a large earthquake like that, well, that deep of an earthquake for at least three weeks or so in these areas. Most times there are deep, deeper earthquakes in the Tonga region, but man, we have got situations happening all over the world with these earthquakes, and volcanoes, staying aware and prepared would have knew if you got your due so make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe bell and the notification bell and you can get your morning due every day and stay aware and prepared as we go through these changes together the um, typhoon Jong Dury has been downgraded and we'll be looking at that later on as we go around the world here looking at the all the active volcanoes tornado warnings another one in Obolobol Indonesia 5.4 just recently Karamiski popping off an hour ago Costa Rica so a lot of action just in the past six hours all along the western ring of fire in our West Pacific Ocean so yeah just wanted to share with you today and of course every day all of the major disasters from around the world. Looking at these fires in California, you can see satellite imagery here, NASA Worldview providing this for us, and you can see intense large plumes of smoke over California and southern parts of Washington, Oregon. Tornado warnings in southern Dakota, Nebraska, as well as Wyoming. You can see here, clear rotation with that cell, moving south southeast. A lot of action in Mexico, a few earthquakes over 5.0. Still forecasting a pretty large earthquake even though we had that 6.0 and the 6.4 in Indonesia watch Mexico as those volcanoes are very active in the area here's a look at uh, Jungdari and as soon as it hit Japan it diminished so it is now a tropical depression and that low pressure system that was in front of it I was noting this yesterday that they would probably join forces and they are So yeah, remnants of that tropical storm heading towards South Korea right now. Overlooking NASA worldview, looks like a little bit of uh, chemtrail drawing in our skies again. Injecting the high pressure ridge with whatever chemicals they decide to spray in our skies. I've seen it many a times in these areas. Scientists and other government agents agencies are claiming that it is steam line from
from the freight liners. You believe what you want to believe. I know what I believe. So yes, overlooking all of Canada and the United States, there has been a very large low pressure, cold low that came from the north, cooling things down, bringing a lot of rain and a lot of convective energy as we had a heat wave across the nation. Also looking over West Africa here, another pretty sizable sandstorm developing heading into the Atlantic Ocean. But yeah, here in North America, you can see the supercells, convective energy developing from west to east as that cold front, very large, cold low, tracks east, northeast into the Hudson's Bay. Also still on flood alert in the southeastern United States, all along the seaboard, as the rain has been pretty relentless and will it is set to get even more intense in the coming days. Oh wow, look at this, 5.3 Lilongken, Indonesia, yet another one. Wow, busy, busy day for earthquakes, folks. Overlooking Canada, five day forecast, United States, heat wave still building in, high pressure ridge, throwing a lot of pretty warm air to Canada, so watch for thunderstorms. Monday to Wednesday as the humidex is set to rise. And here you're watching low pressure development, southeastern United States being fueled by the high pressure ridge in the Atlantic Ocean. Pretty sizable low over the Aleutian Islands. Watch for an uptick in seismicity over the next few days as that large low spins in the peninsula. Yeah, you can see here, five day forecast, Jongdari is dead. And watching, as I said, extreme weather event, southwestern parts of China and northern India, watching very large amounts of moisture as this low develops. Yes, that will be an event. We'll be hearing about that later on in the week. Europe still dealing with a lot of heat. Not much relief in the coming days. And let's, of course, let's have a look at our Southern Hemisphere as we keep an eye on these large low pressure systems that seem to be getting bigger stronger and a much larger density as we have increased moisture worldwide due to the grand solar minimum stay aware and prepared folks thanks for watching today stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.